Right, so the, um, the setup that you use, or the mixes that you use, is as follows. So you basically go down to, um, to your mix. So the first one is throttle to the flap, um, where you have the rates at 100% for up and down. Um, for the switch I have on so that it's permanently on, if you want to put it on, assign it to switch, you can. So that one basically makes the flap, which is the um, auxiliary uh, auxiliary input, uh, become the second throttle. The next one you do is the mix two, um, which uh, links the rudder to the the flap or the auxiliary. Um, in this case, I've set the percentages to minus 25. That's because I've had to swap the motors around because I'd already removed the uh, the power connector. Um, if you leave your left motor as the the primary with the um, the the red wire connected, then you would have plus 25 or plus 30 for both, depending on how much you want. And again, I've got I've got to switch on. What that does, the motor which is on the auxiliary, uh, in, in this case my left motor, that one becomes the one which varies the speed. Now, because the DX6 has only got two mixes, um, you can only vary the one motor. So in this case, the motor on the on the auxiliary, which is this left-hand motor, that one speeds up and slows down depending on the rudder. And your primary motor, in my case the right-hand, uh, remains at the set speed. So the, the net result is that the, uh, the one motor, in this case the, the left motor, uh, is the one that will vary speed depending with the rudder. So if you turning to the left, that one will speed up 25% relative to the other. In this case it will do nothing for left because it's on zero already. And we try it the other way around.